Hello and welcome to this demo of the expanded view feature of SCORE, which allows to show an entire process and all its detailed view on a single uh, flat page, which can be used for visualizing with your team or for printing further. So I have my, my, mapped my process here. Uh, it's a sales process, typical things that we will recognize. And now I'd like to see all the different levels at once. So what I'm saying about levels is that these are these detailed views. So here I am drilling down into my process. I can go back up, drill down again, and drill down again. So this kind of view is very, very practical to keep, um, to keep each level very clear for different audiences. Not everyone needs to see the same level of details. But there are some cases where we want to actually see everything at once. So out of this process, I will create an expanded view, which, uh, which is, takes place in the print menu. So now that I'm in the print menu, I see my uh, print, default print preview, but I have a new button here called create an expanded view. And now it will generate it. It takes a while for big processes. And I have my, um, my process that is expanded, so I have all the levels at once, and I can also see um, the different relationships between um, between my my levels. If I now go back to the print menu again, this will show my expanded view. Again, it takes a while to load. Uh, and here again, it will try to squeeze everything into one page, but using the, the same print settings buttons that we have at the top, uh, we can uh, customize how, how it shows. You can revert to using the normal process here, of course. So let's go back into our expanded view and have a look a bit further on what I can do. So uh, let's say that we want to clean it up. This view before printing, we don't want to actually print absolutely everything. Um, so let's have a look at what we can do. One thing to keep in mind is that all the changes you're doing here are, will not persist and will not modify the initial process, the original process. We are actually working on a copy of the process and this copy will be destroyed as soon as you make a change to, to the process. So this is really a, a snapshot of the process that is used to generate one-time visualization. So let's say that I want only one level of detail, so I don't want to show this one. I can go here to my menu expanded view and then I can click collapse this box. So it will collapse this box here back into the detailed view and we can see it's very subtle, subtle but we can see the detailed view icon has uh, disappeared here. And I can, do the, I can select the box and do the reverse operation from here. So let's say now I can modify my box again. Whatever change you make here won't affect the original process. So I can reorganize and if I made a mess of the... let's. Let's do one. If I made a mess, I can always click on Expanded View menu and rearrange now. And this will recompute the, the calculation. So maybe I want all my uh, details to look to be arranged like that, and I want them to all have the same height. So I can do some sort of uh, modification like that. Or maybe we don't want to show the, um, the, the notebooks like this one. So I can just delete it. Uh, up delete and let's take this one as well and delete all right so i can make changes here so that uh, different things are shown or not let's be consistent and delete this one as well and again this all these changes won't have any effect uh, they won't effect affect the source process uh, let me go back to my to my print okay it computes it tries to squeeze everything in one one page is by default, so here it tries to compute and squeeze everything. Um, as I was saying earlier, I can always go to the um, uh, page settings. So maybe we'll try to make a landscape and we'll do it as an A3 pages. Fit content on one page, that's why it tries to squeeze everything. Current diagram only, that's the purpose of it. There's no drill downs anymore. Uh, actually, there's one because we collapsed it. So now it will go there. Um, so it's already a bit more visual now, so I can do a, a real print now, now, and it will open a new tab which my, with my printing, and then I can print from using the, um, uh, the browser button, so file print in most browsers. And let's go back here, and your changes, as long as you don't make any change in the real source process, your changes are kept. So if you are not happy with the way it looks, you can always go back and modify your view. So let's say we want something a bit more fancy. Um, like like that on the left, maybe it will f better fit. Uh, actually, if I if I want to print on a given 
if I want to see how it looks on the paper, I can actually enable the page settings, I can enable the page view, let's take the same A3 and landscape. Alright, so now I see how it will, so if I want to make sure that, yeah, oh, that was not too bad, uh, that each diagram is actually on one single page without um, overlapping on two pages. So that, that's not too bad. Uh, you see these gray lines and the orange borders as well in the style sheets. You will see some new menus to, to modify that. So this is still a very experimental feature. So hopefully you can give us some feedback on the community website and we'll look at making uh, involvement of it. So thank you for all the people um, that will recognize themselves who tried the earlier version and gave us a, a ton of valuable feedback that um, that was really helpful to, to finalize the, the implementation. So thank you and have a good weekend.